Hi guys. Well, you know, I got to thinking. I've been painting the bus. Here, let me show you what I did to the ceiling. See the ceiling? It's that way all the way across. I'll show you the outside later, but I've been busy on the outside. Plus, we closed on the first house. Those of you who know me uh, a little bit better, you know I'm in the process of selling two properties so that we can move east. So Stephanie can be around more weirdos because there are none in Texas. <laughs> and she's very strange. She is my daughter. So anyway, I got to thinking that I don't think y'all really understand now time. So I thought I would do a video on this. Because what you do is you get caught up in linear time space. And in linear time space, you're taught that you are born, you grow up, you die. And that this is the way it has to be. All of that is bullshit. I mean, you could literally stay a baby forever if you wanted to. Uh, you could stay 25 if you wanted to. Um, that's all an illusion. And what happens is you're taught that that's the way it is. And because you're taught that, as a creator God, you make it happen. So you're the one that goes to individual now moments that make it appear one right after the other, that you are growing up and growing old and eventually dying. But that is what you're doing. You're doing, you're creating a now moment after a now moment, like slides in an old-fashioned um, movie. You know, those no. pictures that you show oh, that, uh, those pictures that you show that you draw a picture and then you flip through them with a the book and it shows somebody moving. Or those of you who are old enough, you know an old-fashioned movie. It's one single photograph, one right after the other, that they show really, really fast. And it makes it look like people are moving across the screen. That's how you do. That's very, very accurate as to how you create your life. Now, you're also taught that if you go to school as a youngster and you learn stuff all the way through college, you can learn how to do something. Then you go and you get a job and you get better and better at it. And then at the end of the day, you make more money and you're more whatever, you're a better person, you have more stuff, and you gather more money and you buy bigger things, and you accumulate things as you go, and all of this is built on the day before, the year before, the decade before, right? So that's the illusion that you're under, that everything is built on the past. Well, the truth is there is no such thing as past. There's only now, and you recreate everything in the now. Let, now, let me take it to you on a spiritual level. So you take what you, most people do, I, when I say you, I mean most people, I'm not being, not you that I'm talking to right now, not you necessarily, but more than likely everyone that's listening to this. This is what you do, and you assume that if you meditate and you uh, get better and better at your spiritual understanding and your creator godness and you create better last year the days or last decade for that matter and you do it better and better and better and better that you're going to build on that so that today in this now moment you'll be better and you will have created just like you have gotten older or you have gotten a better job or you have put more money in the bank that you will have created this ability to be a more spiritual, understanding person based on the past. Just like all those other things are illusions, so is that. And you can totally wipe out everything that you've done now. If you do it wrong right now, and most people do, is you go to the store and somebody snaps at you or somebody cuts in front of you and you get angry, everything that you've created, I don't care, for 25 years is gone in that moment. You have now, in an instant, sent a message to the law of attraction of a low vibration, which will be sent back to you. So frequently what happens is people work really, really hard at this. And they go, okay, I worked really, really hard. I've done everything you've said for two years. And then something will happen. And it will trigger 
something from the past that's not really real because there's no such thing as past, but people will get triggered, including me. This happens to me all the time, guys, all the time. But something will trigger from your past, and you'll get angry, upset, scared, whatever, and everything that you may have built will be gone in that instant. Or let's say you go to work, right? You go to work, and every day you concentrate, and you worry, because most people worry at work, which is fear, and you're not at ease in your in your job and you do that for eight hours and then you come home and you meditate and you you do all the spiritual things you're supposed to and then your life doesn't work out right and you can't figure out why because eight hours you sent worry to the law of attraction law of attraction does not interpret this as worry from work it does not send it back to your life through work necessarily although you are spending eight hours five days a week at least at a job so the chances are it's going to come back through work but it doesn't necessarily come back through work it isn't it doesn't work like that your worry vibration goes out and you've been doing it for eight hours it's going to come back and it's going to influence your life tremendously every moment of every day every now moment you are recreating completely your whole entire life hear me guys every now moment is a recreation of your life start to finish top to bottom in and out every moment you are recreating it from nothing from nothing okay now what you do is you have been set up on automatic pilot for a great deal of it because your human brain is absolutely incapable of recreating everything in this game consciously can't do it oh, you can barely go to work every day and handle the bills right you certainly cannot recreate through your human brain everything around you everything you see everything you taste touch interact with everything but the truth is everything is recreated every now moment bad news is you tend to habitually recreate the same thing because you're not aware of it good news you can change it in the next now moment but you cannot and you can try you can say that you're doing it but it will not work it doesn't matter what you did five minutes ago doesn't matter what you've done over the last year if you're not incorporating it into every single now moment so the reason why I tell you guys to be happier and happier is because this is so hard to do that that is the easiest thing that I can tell you to do and get it done right it is the easiest way of getting this done and it works you don't have to fight everything you don't have to analyze everything you don't have to worry about what kind of meditation you need to do but if what I find with people is you want answers you're curious you're creators that's what you do and that's understandable and I'll be very very happy to explain any of that to any of you but the truth of the matter is that every single now 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 you are recreating everything everything so if you get caught up in the curiosity can you see how every now moment you're at risk for screwing it all up because the whole system everything around you everything that you live by has been set up to keep creator gods in amnesia this is the game that you were born into the game let me say that again the game that you were born into was created over a very 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 long longer millions upon millions of human years and beyond more than you can comprehend this system was put into place so that gods and i i mean gods with a big g guys not a little g big g 
gods could forget who they are, and that is incredibly difficult to do. The game that you came into does that. To try to get out of it is very difficult. Now, the long-term humans who are frequently the ones who are the gurus, frequently, uh, they make it look easy because they've been here for millions of lifetimes. They're very aware of how this system works. You're not. I'm talking to star seeds here, okay? Uh, so anybody that's struggling, you don't know how this system works. So I am trying desperately to relay to you how complex this is, how you are working in a system that was built to keep you in amnesia, to make it difficult. And for a star seed, it is overwhelmingly confusing and difficult. And that is understandable from where you come from. So what I'm trying to explain to you is you can mess it up every now moment if you don't stay focused. And that is almost impossible to do if you are raising children in the system or if you have a job in the system. Now, for those of us who are done raising children, who can operate without an 8-5 to five job, makes it easier. But you still, if you aren't in that place, you are going to have to do whatever it takes. And I have tried to give you the easiest way of doing that. And you have heard me say this over and over. I do not think that I've told you over and over to be happy. I never have. I said happier, guys. Happier. Whatever it takes, try to stay in the now. Try to tell what you're feeling you got to get in touch with your feeling, guys. you got to know how you're feeling. Your feeling is what sends the information out to the universe and will respond in kind everywhere. And it will annihilate anything you've done 15 minutes ago because there is no such thing as 15 minutes ago. There is only now, and you are recreating it every now. You don't pull it aside. I mean, pull it forward. The only way that all of that stuff that you've done counts is if you make it a habit. So if you use meditation to the point where you're in a meditative state all the time, like I'm in a meditative state 75% of the time, very good at it. That 25% of the time still messes up my life because I'm not completely there and I know how this works, okay? But... That's what that practice will do. It'll get you to the point where you're doing it automatically every now moment. That's all it's good for. And if you don't use it to get to the place where you're doing things every now moment, it's worthless. Absolutely worthless. That meditation last night doesn't matter right now. It doesn't matter at all. Unless you are doing that meditative state that you did last night every now moment, it's worthless. It doesn't, it doesn't stay. It's, that's linear time thinking, and that's an illusion, guys. You don't get better and better and better unless it is carrying through to every now moment. Okay? Well, hopefully that makes some sense to you. Happy 11-11 day. I love 11-11. That and Friday the 13th. Great days for me. All right, hope you guys have a great day too, and I'll see you later. Huge hugs. Love you bunches. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. I love you guys. Got to get back to work now. Bye.